Hey there, welcome to Life Noggin. Oh, you're actually in the wrong animation channel. Yeah, you're gonna wanna make a right. Yep. According to a 2015 study, there are currently over 3 trillion trees worldwide, which is about 400 trees per person. That may sound like a lot, but it's only about half of what existed before human civilization began. Trees are an essential part of life on Earth, and if we lost them all, we would be in a lot of trouble. So let's imagine all the trees disappeared overnight. What exactly would happen? Well, to start with, air quality would suffer. During photosynthesis, trees can absorb carbon dioxide and emit oxygen. According to the U.S. Forest Service, trees offset annual carbon dioxide emissions from fossil fuels by about 15%. Trees also filter out air pollutants such as particulates, ozone, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide. So without trees, we would have less oxygen in the air and more greenhouse gases that would heat up the planet and pollutants that would cause health issues and even deaths. A rise in pollutants would also affect water and soil quality due to acid deposition, which can occur in the form of acid rain, snow, fog, or even dust. This can hurt forests, lakes, and streams, and the animals that live there, as well as damage buildings and cars and cause respiratory issues like asthma, bronchitis, and pneumonia in humans. But of course, that's only on the rare occurrences when it does rain. Trees are an essential part of the water cycle. After absorbing rain through their roots, they release water vapor into the air through their leaves in a process called transpiration. Without trees, there would be less rain, possibly leading to widespread drought. For instance, a 2012 study found that continued destruction of the Amazon and Congo tropical forests will result in up to a 21% rain reduction in the area during the dry season by 2050. Together, these conditions would hinder crop and agriculture production, eventually leading to food shortages. In addition, animals who depend on forest environments for shelter and food would eventually go extinct. It's estimated that 80% of our land animals and plants live in forests. That's a lot of species dependent on trees for survival. It may take months to years to see these environmental changes, but trees affect a lot more than just the environment. Studies have found that spending time in forests can have a positive positive impact on our health by reducing blood pressure and stress hormones while improving mood and focus. And planting trees in urban environments has even been found to reduce crime. A 2001 study on Chicago found that buildings with high levels of vegetation had 48% fewer property crimes and 56% fewer violent crimes compared to buildings with low amounts of vegetation. The authors of this study theorized that this is due to having more eyes on the street from people using the outdoor space. Space. They also suggest that trees may alleviate mental fatigue, which has been linked to violence. So it turns out that trees are protecting us from a pretty terrible world. Go give a tree a hug. I think those tree huggers are onto something. So are you a person who loves nature? Do you live in a place with lots of trees or very few? Let me know in the comment section below or tell me what should I talk about next. Curious to know what would happen if the Earth only had one season? Check out this video. Scientists think the tilt was caused when the Earth was hit by a Mars-sized object named Theia shortly after the Earth was formed. As always, my name is Blocko. This has been Life Noggin. Don't forget to keep on thinking.